What's up, YouTube? Have I got a video for you today? Oh my god. This is my new vinyl update. Slash CD and other stuff. And it, this is by far the biggest update I've ever done. If you think the last one was big, wait till you see this one. I'm going to start out with the not so cool stuff, I guess you would say. I got the new Looney Tunes DVD, Porky Pig 101. The first 101 Porky Pig cartoons. I'm a big fan of Porky Pig, especially the black and white ones. Oh, I love my black and white Looney Tunes. 99 black and white plus two color cartoons. Yeah, can't beat Porky Pig, and I got Porky Pig and Friends. This is the later 1940s to 1960s stuff. And it has um, the Seven Arts cartoon, the Bunny and Claude. Uh, got this, couldn't afford the whole box set, the Deluxe Sergeant Pepper. You know, it's a little LP replica. I'm, I have to go fast, this video. You know me, I like to ramble a lot, and I can't do that. I can't do it this time, or I'll be here all night. Yeah, it's night time right now. Uh. Both volumes at live at the BBC. You've seen these a million times. If you're a Beatle fan, shit. Uh, I guess I'm gonna start out with Elvis. Uh, I got a lot of Elvis here. I got a bunch of Elvis. So here's his second album EP. Uh. Yeah, glad to have this. This is awesome. I love that album, too. So, as four of my favorite songs on it. So Glad You're Mine, Old Shep, uh, Ready Teddy, and Any Place is Paradise. Love all those songs. Move along, move along. Oh shit, I ain't doing that again. Won't fucking won't get in there. There. Won't do that again. Yeah, glad to have this. Um Oh yeah, the Elvis records. I got a total of ten Elvis LPs. Here's a very nice King Creole. Um an original 1S, 2S, 1958. Well, the story behind this, um, it's a long story. I got an original of this two years ago. Damn, two years ago. Fuck. Doesn't seem that long ago. And the vinyl that's inside this cover is what came in my original version, but the cover was, it's completely trashed. Like, you can open it up like a book, and it'll probably break if you do it. It's, it's completely garbage. This has such a nice cover. No splits or anything. You can read the spine. Could, probably can't tell on this, but I'll, I assure you, you can read it. Uh, not much wear on the cover, except maybe that on the top, but, you know. For 1958, it's excellent. Uh, but the record inside this was a 2S, 3S, or 3S, 4S. I don't remember. Yeah, it wasn't very good. It skipped. Um, so I swapped the records, and I have an excellent copy of King Creole. And 
and it comes with the RCA inner sleeve. And I got this for three ninety nine, no four ninety nine, but five bucks. That's a steal, if you ask me. Shit. I ain't doing that again. Uh, yeah, original 1S, 2S. Glad to get that. Because my other one's completely tracked. I pretty much have a useless copy of it. I would sell it, but it's useless. Because it has a trash cover and a skipping record. I'll just keep it, you know, it's it's nice having two. Oh, I have to do a lot of cleaning up after this. Bonin Acapulco stereo. I had the I have an original mono of this, but this is the original stereo. This was like two, three bucks. And I paid ten dollars for the mono one. And <laughs> this is way better than and much better shape. Uh, you know, good old Elvis doing his old funny soundtrack albums. I ain't got much use for the record. Uh, I liked Side 2. Side 1 I didn't care for, but Side 2 was okay. Oh, and the other one I paid 10 bucks more, like three times as much as this for. It didn't even come with the original winter sleeve. This does. Pretty nice shape and uh, not much noise. Uh, yeah, I was. I could. I wasn't gonna pass that up, you know. And. One, one goal I have is to get the mono and stereo of all the Elvis albums that come in mono and stereo. So yeah, glad to get that. Um, here's one of my favorites, Elvis's Golden Records Volume 3. But this isn't just any Elvis's Golden Records Volume 3. It's German. That's right, German. Look how nice it's, it's made. Uh... Yeah, as that RCA logo. I like that RCA logo. And just look how beautiful the vinyl is. I love this label. I also like the version that has the red dot in the middle with the RCA logo. Uh, yeah, sounds good too. I had an American pressing, a second American pressing, I think. But. Yeah, when I go to listen to this album, I'm gonna I'm always gonna listen to this one. Damn it, I hate when it does this. Especially when I'm doing a video. Bear with me. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, beautiful shape. It's got all the good ones on it. Well, from that time, I guess. Oh, forgot the sleeve. Now this album I now have three different versions of. Two years ago, damn, two years ago, when I first started collecting Elvis, I, I had a very small Elvis collection. I'm up to 70 Elvis records now, 71 actually. Um, but, um, I, I, two years ago I got the American pressing of this, of Let's Be Friends. Which happens to be my favorite Elvis record, and I got the German one a couple about a month ago or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, no kidding. This is my favorite. A lot of good memories with this one. I listen to it all the time. It says RCA International.
Love that label. It's got a lot of my favorites on it. Yeah, got a lot of good ones. I recommend listening to this if you haven't. And I got the Pickwick version, Canadian 1975 pressing, and the shrink. And it comes with the original Pickwick inner sleeve. I'm not going to pull that out. And this is probably my least favorite of the versions uh, as far as labels go. I like that blue uh, label, but this is nice to have, especially since it's my favorite. Ah, fuck. Little bitch. Here's one, and then here's one of my least favorites. <laughs> Elvis Country. Nothing too good on here. But this is a German pressing too. I'm getting a lot of imports lately. Oh yeah, this has a, a special inner sleeve. It's got all of his albums on it. And I like that one too. That that label. The that one's pretty cool. Yeah, it was it was listed as very good condition. I could honestly I couldn't honestly give a shit. Because I didn't even care for this one. I, you know, they tried to make an epic Elvis album by putting his face on it as a, you know, as a kid and thought they were being cool putting that song in between the other ones and it just turned out as a failure. I mean, there's nothing awful on here, it's just, eh. I wouldn't care if I never heard it again. That's how I am with several of his albums. But I'm, you know, I'll always he'll always have a place in my heart. As cheesy as that sounds, I should I wish I didn't say that, but it's true. Ah, here's a good one. Separate ways. One of the Camden ones. I like the I like the Camden ones. They put a nice selection of of the funny movie songs on it. Yeah, I even like the movie songs better than Elvis Country. And that overrated, that's the way it is. Yes, I'm being serious. I don't like that's the way it is, it's boring. I'm mainly a fan of his 50s and 60s and some of his 70s stuff. After a while, the 70s albums start sounding the same. With the exception of a couple. This guy has a lot of my favorites, huh? I ain't gonna s sit here all night and list songs, but you get it. Raised on Rock, again, nothing awesome. I like, for old time's sake, though, I like the little organ bit. Comes with the original inner sleeve. Always want to get that with your records. orange Dynaflex label. It's okay. Not bad, but not that great either. And here's a British album. I never even seen this till I saw it at the record store. The US Mail. 199 I paid for it, which is a very good deal. This is a 1975 album. 
and it's got a it's got a, some good ones on it. Uh, let's see what what does it have? Uh, U.S. Mail. It's got some songs from Let's Be Friends. That's probably why I like it. Burning Love. Yeah, it's got some good stuff. Last Elvis one. Aw. Um, a Legendary Performer, Volume 2. This this is pretty interesting, I will say. Uh. Oh, I have to, I have to get some sort of inner sleeve to put in that so it doesn't start skipping. Yeah, it's got that special label. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I put that in wrong, damn it. Hold your ears. Oh, oh, hurt my ears. Get it in there, fucker. And it comes with the whole book. And the back picture isn't cut out. So that's a good sign. It looks like I'm being rough with it, but... I assure you, I know how to handle this shit. I mean, I have the Christmas album for crying out loud. I think I know how to handle stuff. You know, I just said that to just say I have the Christmas album. So y'all get jealous. <laughs> uh, three ninety nine. I paid for this one. It's got some good songs on it. Nice anthology. Starts with Harbor Lights, a beautiful song, and ends with If I Can Dream, another beautiful song. Completely different period. Here's the Grateful Dead album. Historic Dead. It's been a long time since I got a Dead album. They're a long time favorite of mine. It's on the, ooh, the Sunflower label. Many thought this was a bootleg, but I think they had permission to put this out. MGM has Good Morning Little Schoolgirl, Lindy, Stealing, and the same thing. I enjoyed it. It's a recording of them from 66 when they were first starting out. That's my favorite time when the 60s period before they went sort of country-ish yeah this is historic yeah I was glad to get this uh... yeah okay I'm gonna do this next oh, I got some rolling stones here so here I was very glad to get this. Their Satanic Majesty's request. This is because it's my favorite Stones album. I think it's their best work. Their most creative and out of the box work. Yeah, the person on eBay was nice and put it in one of these anti-static anti sleeves. And here's the original velvet inner sleeve. This is in really nice shape. Sounds really good, too. Nothing wrong with it. On the normal blue London label. Yeah, it's got all my favorites on it. It has... Yeah, I love that one. Sung by Bill Wyman. And written by Bill Wyman. God damn hard getting this stuff in here but I'm doing it for you guys or else I wouldn't be bothering with this 
doing it for you. Yeah, nice artwork. And it does the, it's the original hologram thing. They move their heads. I don't know if you can see it on there, but I assure you, it is the, because I refuse to get the, I, fuck. I refuse to get the, uh, reissue I see everywhere where it doesn't, where it doesn't move. Got a couple more stones. Oh, come on, you fucker. You might be thinking, do I kiss my mother with that mouth? Nope, because I don't kiss her in the mouth. I don't kiss her in general. Uh, I got Through the Darkly, Through the Past Darkly, Big Hits Volume 2. This is an interesting one. And when the record comes out, it seems, it looks weird when it comes out. It seems like so much bigger than the cover. That's cool. That's a nice little dedication to Brian Jones here. This has a lot of the good ones on it. I like this better than the other big hits, which was also excellent. Oh, man. There's already a big stack over here. And I was glad to get this, too. This is my second favorite Stones album, Sticky Fingers. Zipper works. Uh, this is a weird one, isn't it? <laughs> uh... got the original inner sleeve. What did they do to Brian Jones? Uh, logo on the back. Yellow Rolling Stones label. Yeah, this is a good one, isn't it? I think we'd all agree on that. It's definitely my favorite one without Brian Jones. You know me, I like the early stones the best before they... Before they turned... Uh, whew, and before they started doing dance music and whatnot. I don't know if that's the word, but you know what I mean. Uh, Woo! What next? Oh, I know. Oh, it's hard doing this. Arr, here's a couple. I got the doors waiting for the sun. Love that pink on the back. Yeah, I stuck the... There's the record outside because it's such a pain in the ass to get outside because it, it, they put it in weird on the there's the electrical label they put it in weird on the inside of it here it comes out and you see it comes out through there and that's a pain in the ass I don't want to do that every time I open it sounds nice though Oh, fuck you. Fuck you, you son of a bitch. Cussing a lot. Yeah, this is a good one, isn't it? Huh? She lives on Love Street. Lingers long on Love Street. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cream wheels of fire. I got this for a buck. A buck. Yeah, a buck. Hopefully there's no silverfish in here. 
This one attracts a lot of silverfish because it's so old and dirty. But surprisingly, it comes with the Atco inner sleeves. Surprisingly, it doesn't sound that bad. Despite it looking terrible. Well, you can't really see it on the camera, can you? I could have said this was in mint condition and you wouldn't... Oh, yeah, you can see it's a little dirty. I, I still have to clean it. I'm late, a bit lazy, you see, when it comes to that. And the other one with Crossroads Spoonful. Two really good songs. Uh, this has other good songs too, like White Room and Sing on Top of the World and Politician. Yeah, good stuff. Especially for a dollar. Okay. Uh. Now, here's all the metal records I've gotten. Well, mostly black, it's mostly Black Sabbath. I got their first album. Yay. With the du Warner Brothers inner sleeve and green label. Way better than Paranoid, in my opinion. Much more doomy and, I don't know, more jamming to me. Awesome, one of the best debuts ever. And I already showed this on my last one, but I'll just show it again. It's Paranoid. You know, same green label. Here's Master of Reality. I'm not taking these out. They all have the green label, except the last two. This one's awesome. Oh, this one I'll show. Black Sabbath Volume 4. So I'll have to hurry it up here. As the... Comes with the little... Picture book thing. Yeah, I like this one. Sort of underrated. Might. I don't know if I like it better than Paranoid or not. Here's Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath. This one's on, uh, that label. This is my, probably my second favorite, like, Sabbath album. It was my favorite, but I think it's my second favorite now. It's got a lot of good stuff on it. And here, come on, my favorite, Sabotage. Awesome album. This is all this has the same label as the last one. And here Iron Maiden Power Slave. Good one, isn't it? Probably one of the best metal albums ever. There's the band. Uh, they're looking evil. Standing in front of the evil Ancient Mariner. This does have Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. Brownish label. There's a picture on the B side. Yeah, it has the Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner on it. It's got a lot of the good ones. 22 bucks. Not bad. And it's got a textured cover I like when they do that and this one I can't believe I got this one after all these years I finally got it <laughs> no I'm just kidding this is what I'm talking about Oh yeah, Metallica. Justice for all. 
their best album. I gotta admit, I fucking love Sate Anger too, just as much, but this is their best. I mean, you can't deny it. Uh, I was I'm excited to finally get some Metallica on vinyl. Because, you know, their records are so expensive. This was around 50, 60 bucks. Yeah, it was pretty exciting getting this. A little dinged up, but not bad. All the lyrics, so you can sing along. Well, James sings about the government. Has their best instrumental, too, The Live Is To Die. Not Call of the Cthulhu, not Orion, but The Live Is To Die. That's what I say. You got the band looking very pissed. Well, Jason's pissed because they mixed his bass down. I don't know why people complain about the production. I think it sounds more raw and heavier. And I got the little cassette to go along with it, as well as the CD. So I got it all. <laughs> oh, man. I guess next is the... This stack behind me is the prog section. Oh, yes. Uh. Yeah, Court of the Crimson King. Ha ha ha. Glad to get this one. This one came in big sleeve. Yeah, I was definitely glad to get this. One of the best albums in creation right here. One of the best cover art. Yeah, this is awesome stuff. Comes with the Atlantic inner sleeve. And here's the vinyl itself. An observation by King Crimson. Oh yeah. King Crimson's the real deal, folks. You got your rush, you got your you got your dream theater, you got your sticks, you got all that, but they're the big them Genesis and yes are the real deal, folks. You can't beat King Crimson Genesis and yes when it comes to frog. You just can't. They're the top tier Frog Mac Daddies. Uh, here is Red. Can't decide if I like this or Lark's Tongue better. I still need to get the... I only have two King Crimson albums at the moment. You know, I'm just getting into this stuff, you know? I'm glad I'm expanding my horizons here. Another one of the best albums in creation, Red. Starless, one of the best songs in creation. Yeah, John Wetton's like, Yeah, look at me, bitches, I'm in King Crimson. Yeah, and you're not, niggas. Ha 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 ha. And Fripp's like, shut this guy up. Bill Bruford's like, uh, I see a spider over there. Uh, so yeah, there's red. Fallen angel. Oh boy, now my Yes collection. I don't have their first album. It's I never found that one at the record store. I have to get it on eBay probably, but here's Time and a Word. They were still finding themselves, but, you know, it was alright, you know, I love the first song, the no opportunity necessary, no experience needed, and that music video was awesome, too, uh, that's weird, it shows Steve Howe on the front cover, and 
Peter Banks on the back cover. Always thought that was weird. Here's the Yes album. Most people's favorites, probably. Not my favorite, but... As yours is no disgrace! Well, I sounded just like John Anderson. If John Davidson uh, has throat problems like uh, Benoit David and John Anderson had, hey, pick me. I sound just like John Anderson. Yours is no disgrace! Yeah. Uh, here's Fragile. A lot of people's favorite, but again, not my favorite. Uh, but it is awesome. Do we really tell lies? I think in the sunshine. Do we really count to 100? I think in the sunshine. Sorry. Sorry if I scared you guys with my. with my psychotic singing. Tell the moon don't tell the matcha, tell the moon don't tell the matcha. Uh, close to the edge. Uh, even Siberia goes through the motions. <laughs> Oh, here's a cool one. This is a Taiwan pressing of Close to the Edge. It's just laminated paper, pretty much, as the sleeve. Oh, 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 look at the label. Oh, yeah. Rigid vinyl, too. It's not thin vinyl. It's almost, probably, almost 150 gram. Ah, here's my favorite. Tales from Topographic Oceans. Nothing like the magical, beautiful sounds of the Topographic Oceans, eh? I, th I thought this was a masterpiece. It was their masterpiece. Rick Wakeman didn't think so. This is probably my favorite Yes recording, the Revealing Science of God. And Ritual is awesome as well. And you got the Ancient, which people don't like, but I do. Especially the Leaves of Green part. And Ritual, everyone loves that. Yeah, that's my favorite. Ugh. Here's Relayer, some people's favorites. Not quite my favorite, but it's up there. Awesome artwork. Comes with the original inner sleeve, and this is just records like mint condition. I'm not even kidding. Shiny, shiny. Most of these Yes albums I got at a record store at the same time for like three bucks. Oh, here's yesterday, but it's a promotional DJ copy. See that? Oh, yeah. It's got the green inner sleeve, much like close to the edge. There's that label. And I got two going for the ones. The first one looking kind of beat up. They're both $2.99. And it had a lot of surface noise on turn of the century and awaken. The, the quiet parts of it, but then I got this much better version for the same price for two ninety nine. Same price I paid for the other one. And much less surface noise. Almost non existent. Yeah, I like this one. People tend to not like it that much, but I do. Here's another one people don't like that much. Tormato. It's not my favorite, but I like it a lot more than 
other people do. It's probably my eighth favorite. Yes, album. I mean, I just love the, I could not take it oh so seriously, really, when you called and said you'd seen a UFO. I mean, who couldn't, who won't, who wouldn't love that? Well, a lot of people. <laughs> uh, Circus of Heaven is sort of iffy, but, you know, it's alright. Oh, and it's in the shrink wrap. Said that weird shrink wrap. Ooh. And I was sneaky at the record store. There's another one for like a dollar less, but it didn't have the shrink in it. The the record that this exact vinyl here was in that, but the one with this cover with the shrink wrap uh, was a dollar more, and the record was all dirty and dusty. So I swapped them, and you're not supposed to do that, but I did. Haha. <laughs> And there's the band. Oh yeah. We're cool. <clears throat> Here's possibly my second favorite drama. I've just fallen in love with this album. This is my favorite cover too. There's the band. Oh yeah. Has the original inner sleeve and the Atlantic. Has, has I'm a camera. Camera, camera. Here's a good live album. Yes, shows. Oh, shit, it's getting near an hour. I'm going fast, people. I'm going fast. Has the original inner sleeves, Atlantic label. Uh, a lot of my favorite stuff on it. Yeah, I still need to get Yes songs, too. And here's one of my least favorites, 90125. Yeah. That's the gray label. It's alright. Ugh. And, uh, I need 901 to live also. Here's Big Generator. <laughs> Probably the worst. I'd rather listen to Heaven and Earth any day. And definitely Fly From Here. I love Fly From Here. Big Generator. Those are all my yes. Now, ah, Genesis. Gotta love Genesis. Their first album. It's a promotional copy. It's got some guy's signature. I think it's someone... Someone wrote 1974 on it, too. So I think it's someone that worked for... No. That might have owned this before they gave it to a record store for promotional purposes. It's on the London label. It's the first American pressing. Many people don't like this, but I, you know, I do. I like anything Genesis did. Had the, yeah, this is the lyric sheet. Uh. Yeah, I need to work on getting my Peter Gabriel Genesis albums. I just haven't found them anywhere. I only find the Phil Collins shit. Uh, here's Selling England by the Pound. Possibly the best one. Who knows? Has the inner sleeve and the famous Charisma label. Yeah, all, my, all the rest of my Genesis are Phil Collins. Which is annoying. I mean, I love every Genesis album. Well, just about every Genesis album. I find Duke very overrated. But that's another story. And Calling All Stations. I gave it a chance, but last night I gave it another chance. But this is the Boar Fest. It doesn't even have Collins or Gabriel on it, so who cares? 
Uh, we had Genesis, Yes, and King Crimson, the top dogs. The Doberman Pinchers of Prog Rock, I guess you would say. Oh, and here's probably the best Phil Collins album with Genesis, Trick of the Tail. Steve Hackett's still in the band. It's one big picture. That one's a good one. Wind and Wuthering. Very nice. Very beautiful music. Oh, fuck. There, I saved that. From becoming... Those things almost fell over. I saved it. Very beautiful music on this one. One for the vine. Has the lyric sheet or inner sleeve. And then there were three. This one's okay. Not that, not the greatest, but not bad either. Abacab! Can you do it? Can you show it? Abacab! There's a picture of the band. And... The very cool label. Yeah, no background noise on this one. Austin. Three sides live. Man, I am getting tired. Good one, hey? Fuck you, son of a bitch. Yeah. Oh, the, I'm, I'm sweating, man. I'm exhausted. Shapes album. Not one of the best. It's okay. You know, I liked it, but it's not one of the best. That's all. I do like. 80s Genesis more than 80s, yes. Not counting drama, but that's a different story. Oh, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. This one's probably my favorite. It changed me. It changed me. It made me want to play keyboard. Awesome album. One of my top five prog rock albums. Here's Tarkus, my probably my third favorite. And yeah, Tarkus is a killer song. And Jeremy Bender, gotta love Jeremy Bender and Are You Ready, Eddie? And Bitches Crystal Pictures at an exhibition. Good one. Totalition label. Oh. Trilogy. The of the first four albums, this one's my least favorite, but it's still awesome. You know, it's Emerson Lake and Palmer. It's gotta be awesome. On the Totalition label. Oh shit. I'm gonna have to show you stuff in this. Brain salad surgery. Opens up like that, like so. Comes out like so. Here's the label. Carnival 9. This one's, this and the first album are my favorites.
Soon the gypsy queen and invades the Vaseline. We'll perform on guillotine. What a scene, what a scene. It, I don't know if I want to fold this out. I don't feel like it. It's It's got all their faces in it. And it folds out, and there's lyrics and all that kind of stuff. You probably you probably seen it. Even if you don't have it, you've probably seen it. Oh man, almost there, almost there, people. Works. Volume one. One of my favorites actually. Thought it was really cool. Seeing what each of the band members could do. Uh Works Volume 2. Pretty good. Love Beach. Widely hated, but it's kind of a guilty pleasure for me. I mean, yeah, it's one of the... I, I'd still, I think it's better than the last two albums from the 90s. Those are boring, but... I mean, come on, Love Beach has memoirs of an officer and a gentleman. How can it be the worst? That song's awesome. And Canario, that song kicks ass. Of course, there's a few mediocre songs on it, but not that terrible. It's in the shrink wrap, too. Oh, yeah, I already, this isn't new stuff. I already had those for a long time. It's just a couple of Jethro Tull records I've had for a while. I put them in my prog pile. This is new. Uh. Oh yeah, and there, there's this. I've had the best of Jethro Tull for a while. A Passion Play. Possibly my favorite Jethro Tull album. You get it in a, a peeling picture on the back. Uh, uh, Chrysalis Label. Awesome album. Has all the lyrics inside. Uh, and then we got some Rush. Fly by Night. German Pressing. This might go a little over an hour. Who knows? Mercury. This is like mint condition. Sounds beautiful. Change my life again. Fly by night. <laughs> Don't remember all the words, do I? Almost at the end. All the world's a stage. Live album. Mercury label. Pretty good. Oh, now we're getting to the good Rush albums. Hemispheres. The best 70s album by Rush. Moving pictures. Damn it. Signal is one of my favorites, one of my all-time favorite albums. Just perfect album. Another one of my favorite albums, Race Under Pressure. I love the 80s rush period the best. You got Bug Eye Neil Peart staring at you. Love that beautiful label. And the beautiful artwork. It's got a lyric in your sleeve in it. Oh, almost at the end. Power Windows. Not as good as the last few, but, you know. That's good.
You got Alex Lifeson looking a lot like a girl. Well, Eddie Lee, too. Oh, yes. Finally, the end of the stack. Sticks the grand illusion. Come sail away. Come sail away. Come sail away with me. There, it's not that proggy, but... Let me put this shit back up. But The Grand Illusion by Styx is a good rock album. Oh, yeah. Oh, glad that's over. And I just have a couple more here. Whew, damn. Some Pink Floyd. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Pink Floyd. Oh, and Led Zeppelin. Shit, I almost forgot about Led Zeppelin. Good thing I remembered. I would have got pissed if I would have forgotten this. I'm going to show the Led Zeppelin first. Whew. Led Zeppelin 2. It's got the textured cover and the Atlantic label. Hey, I'm getting a headache for some reason. I don't know why. Led Zeppelin 3. The moving dial. You've seen that. I don't need to do it. Eight fold. Atlantic label. And through the outdoor, one of my favorites actually. Not much people's favorite. You got a hot mama in the back. Uh, original inner sleeve. Yeah, records like mint shape. It's got one of my favorite, all-time favorite Led Zeppelin songs. And I'm not kidding when I say this. Cara Salambra. Yes, I love Cara Salambra. It's in my top three Led Zeppelin songs. Sometimes it did, sometimes it is number one. I think it's awesome. Now for Pink Floyd. Oh yes. Piper at the Gates of Dawn. French pressing. Oh yes. This is awesome. I was glad to get this one. Blue Columbia label. Now, you know, I didn't want... I want the U.S. pressing, you know, it's part of the collection, but... You know, I wanted the original track listing. I don't like... I don't like what the U.S. did to a lot of albums. Like Revolver, for example. And Piper. You know, they took off Astronomy Domini and all that. I just wanted the original version. And here, here it is. I got it. And now, here. Saucer Full of Secrets. This is a German pressing. Very nice shape. One of my favorite. I love the early Floyd the best. 
can't beat early Floyd. I mean, I like every Pink Floyd era, but, you know, you just can't beat the early period. Uma Guma, Saucer Full of Secrets, Piper at the Gates of Dawn, Adam Hart Mother, can't beat it. Here's a, um, fuck me, what is it? Uh, oh my god, what is it? Oh, a Holland album. Okay. Masters of Rock. You gotta love how it how it says Roger Waters, bass guitar and vocals. Rick Wright, bass guitar and vocals. You you gotta love that. And this is like mint condition. I wish they would have put "Point Me at the Sky" on this. Then it would be, it would be complete, wouldn't it? That's my Pink Floyd I got. Whew! I am tired. I tell you. Now the last two, the Beatles. Uh huh. Here's the Beatles rarities. Wanted this for a long time. And finally got it. It's only eight bucks. It's from Holland. Very minty shape. Black Parlophone label, 1978. The original UK version. For a long time. Like, not long after I started collecting, I got the U.S. rarities, which is better, because it actually has rare stuff on it. But this is a nice, you know, assortment of songs. You know, it's out of chronological order. It's kind of weird. Oh, we're at the last record. The last record. The last precious record. I've been trying to get this album for since 2012 when I first started collecting. I got a reissue 1978 pressing of this, or no, 71 pressing of this since then on the orange capital label. And it didn't come with the inserts. This comes with everything and it's the original. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the White Album. Oh yes, the real deal. This is the real deal. The real deal. It's not showing up. See the embossed printing. And the serial number at the bottom. That really lets you know it's the real deal. And for the record, I am not unfolding this poster. That comes with it. I am not doing that. I don't want to mess it up, but there's the glories inside of it. Here's record one. Got a lot of the good ones on it, doesn't it? Oh yeah, and it's it's the first pressing because they spell Obla D Obla Da wrong, and instead of the continuing story of Bungalow Bill, it just says Bungalow Bill. I think there's a couple other misprints too, but you know that's that's the most those are the most notable. And the second record, same stuff. You gotta love number nine, number nine, number nine. Oh, and that's not all, folks. It comes with... Oh, I, I say the glory I, I felt when 
opening and revealing these four pictures. I tell you, John Lennon, my favorite Beatle, Paul McCartney, uh, George Harrison, and my fourth favorite Beatle, Ringo Starr. <laughs> no, you, no, I love Ringo. I love every Beatle. Uh, but yeah, it was awesome opening up, it up and seeing this. And it comes with the poster, which I'm not unfolding all the way. I'll try to give you a peek in there. You know the deal. It comes with a bunch of pictures and everything. I'm not This is the most I'm doing it, but you get it. This is getting very brutal and frail, and I don't want to mess it up. But yeah, I'm, I've been trying to get this for a long, long time, and I'm glad I got it. And it was 38 bucks. That was a steal. 38 bucks for this. Sounds good, too. Oh, so that's it. That's, every, that's really everything. That's fucking everything. Every little thing. Right? I swear I'm going to be so pissed off if I find something I didn't show. Yeah, that's everything. Well, whoo! That was long, wasn't it? Well, I'm, I'm not going to ramble on for much longer. Um, yeah, I just wanted to get that off my fucking chest. Shit. I've been... These records have been bought since last October. October... I think October 5th, I got Black Sabbath Volume 4, and the last one I got was a couple weeks ago. few weeks ago, I don't know, but let's see, November. about six, seven month period, that's, yeah, more like a six month period, so yeah, it's crazy, I can't believe that all this, you know, I don't, I didn't realize how much this really was, until I did this, but, oh yeah, that's, that's all I have to say, Shall I show this? Yeah, my friend uh, made some flyers for our duo group. Our very terrible duo group. We're not good. Uh, moon spill. Yeah, you got a little lady on the cover telling you to listen to us. Yeah, that's me right there with that guitar. That's before I got my Jackson guitar, and that's my friend Jacob. You can barely see him. And here's <laughs> here's some of our album <laughs> covers. <laughs> yeah, that this is me right here when I was like I don't know nine, ten. It's a long time ago. Yeah, those are some funny flyers my friend made. Made them for fun. But yeah, that's really it. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Leave your comments. Uh, in the, in the, uh, leave your comments below and thank you for watching this. Uh, I'll, if you didn't watch the whole thing, I'll, I'll know where you live. So... That's my update. Now I have to clean this shit up. Oh, shit. That's gonna be fun. Well, see you guys next time. Peace out. Goodbye. Oh, computer alert. Goodbye.